what are the three stages on a spiritual path? Well, I can talk about that. So, for me, there are three basic stages on the spiritual path. But look, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. So don't think that this is the only way. But for me, this is what I've noticed. You got your breakdown, your breakthrough, and your integration. Breakdown, what is that? Oh, I'm glad you asked. A breakdown is when the floor falls out from underneath you, when things go sideways. Things just don't go the way you want them to go. They can uh, be a myriad of different ways that these present themselves, but for a lot of us, breakdowns are generally around loss. Fairly self-explanatory. Not a lot of fun, you know, honestly kind of a pain in the butt, but you know, these things do happen. Uh, breakthrough, what is that? Well, that's kind of what that suggests. Breakthrough is a aha moment, as Oprah would call it, is when uh, the sky parts and light comes down, when everyone's hugging, singing kumbaya around the, the uh, campfire. Breakdowns, not so fun. Breakthroughs, that's the juice. Do you have to have a breakdown to have a breakthrough? No. You can have a breakthrough, you know, whenever you're open and ready. But I will say, you know, you're not going to have 10 breakdowns a day. You're not going to have 10 breakthroughs a day. They come when they come. The last step I see on the spiritual path is integration. Now what that is, is when you do work to bring this divinity, these breakthrough moments into the everyday. Some people it can be meditation, some it can be therapy, yoga, whatever it may be, but you can have this over the top divine breakthrough moment, but you got to do internal work to kind of bring that into the everyday. Because you don't want to have just a cool story that happened to you 10 years ago that you keep telling. You want to bring that into your life, you know? That, that divinity, that good mojo is always coming through. So, breakdown, breakthrough, and integration. Those are the three basic steps I see. What's the biggest mistake you've seen someone make during a shift? Well, I don't really want to judge someone, what they're doing, what they're not doing. I know for me, um, I know for me that having a breakthrough experience that experience was yesterday, or six months ago, or ten years ago. So this is why I talk about it. it's important to do internal work so you can bring that breakthrough moment to the everyday so that good mojo, the wisdom, the divinity can come out to your everyday life. Otherwise, you just have this really cool story that happened ten years ago. Nothing sticks. You have to incorporate that into the everyday. And so when you start doing internal work, when you start to see the mechanisms what make you act and react the way you do, that's when things get opened up for a shift. But it's not, it's not something you want to look in the past about. It's something that you want to bring in every day, every moment right now. Tell me, uh, tell me what it was like to be in heaven. It was this experience that was. We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor in chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.